Hello students, this is Mr. Panico, and um, this video is showing you how to do the rock classification activity. And its purpose is simply to have you uh, become familiar with the characteristics of the three main types of rocks, <coughs> which are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. So let's just jump right into it. So here's the gizmo. and um, I want you to click on several boxes. I want you to click on the show common characteristics, show status, show view, and name. So now when you click on one of these, or, or even hover on it, on a picture of a type of rock, it will give you the name. You see the that's pumice, and that's schist, and that's marble, and that's basalt. The name's right down here when you hover on it. Okay, So, so the characteristics you should know from having read the lesson that uh, igneous rock cools down. It's lava on the surface cooling down or magma underneath the ground cooling down. That magma and lava are molten, melted rock. And when it cools down, it forms igneous rock. If it cools down on the surface of the earth, it's extrusive. If it cools down inside the earth, it's intrusive. All right, and then sedimentary rock is pebbles and sand, silt and clay, all cemented together through minerals or extreme pressure. And they may also contain fossils in them, but basically it's sediments squeezed together and compacted into rock. And then metamorphic rock is rocks that are um, changed either in size and or chemical composition by extreme heat and um, and pressure down in the earth okay so these rocks let's I'm gonna take one I'm gonna purposely put it in the wrong place so you can see okay so this is called a conglomerate you see a lot of pebbles in there all compacted together so that should tell you what kind of rock it is I'm gonna put it here in igneous and because I have status check it says no rocks were classified correctly I'm gonna put it here in metamorphic whoops still no rocks were classified correctly so I'm gonna put it here in sedimentary and it is a sedimentary rock now it says the selected rocks are classified correctly so I want you to do that with all the rocks and put them in their correct category and kinda of get familiar with that of course you'll be asked questions which kind of rock goes into what kind of category uh, on the quiz but um, you knew this was sedimentary because there was pebbles in it that were uh, conglomerated, uh, compacted together through pressure and or, or minerals. Okay, now, this kind of rock has uh, foliation in it, and you can tell it looks like it was squeezed under a lot of pressure. Okay, and foliation means the crystals that were in it were squeezed into flat lines. Okay, and um, here's another one. Okay, and this rock um, was lava that uh, cooled so quickly. There were holes in it. Gas, the gas bubbles, were still had their shape when it cooled. Well, this rock, you can see the crystals that were in it when it cooled down slowly. Okay, but I'm going to let you um, experiment. See if you can uh, recognize the categories or the characteristics of these rocks through their images and place them into the correct uh, box and or category. And Gizmo will tell you uh, if you've done it correctly or not. And then when you're done, I want you to go to um, oh, there'll be four rocks in each one of these categories. Okay. And when you're done, I want you to go to location and do the very same thing again. But now you're seeing where these rocks occur in a model of the earth. So these are igneous rocks. I want you to click on show characteristic names. All right, so these are igneous rocks. These are sedimentary rocks. These are metamorphic rocks. These are metamorphic rocks because they're far under the earth, close to the magma. It'll get hot and they'll melt and change shape and composition. These are sedimentary rocks because this is where the sediment, the sand, the silt, and the pebbles go. They fall off the mountain from erosion and weathering and they settle down near the lake okay or the ocean and then this is intrusive rock because it's cooling it's magma and or lava cooling from the volcano in the volcano's uh, magma chamber 
All right, so again, you would just grab them and put them somewhere and bam, that was the right place. The selected rocks were, were correct, uh, selected correctly. Metamorphic, whoops, that's not right. Sedimentary, whoops, that's not right. But I want you to put the rocks in the correct category and be familiar with, the ca uh, with their characteristics. And then uh, you'll use that information uh, on the quiz.